Hey everyone, so we've got another edit to do and this time we're trying to create a pretty epic sunset. So we're going to be working with this image right here, trying to recreate its exact edit. And as always, I'll be linking all their details down in the description. So you can also check out his YouTube there, all in the description guys. So if you like their content, like what you see here, you should go give them a follow. So let's see if we can create this epic sunset. Here's our raw unedited image and the very first thing I want to do is make sure we have a nice straight horizon. So just shifting the angle just a little. And what I want to do is really bring in that warmth. and start working with bring up the exposure I want to bring in quite a bit of contrast you can see there's quite a bit of a fade to this image so when you add in contrast and shadows and such you would need to remember that you're most likely going to be doing this with your curves so I'm going to add in a bit extra Highlights so down here, they look pretty bright at the moment, so I'm going to bring them down. Shadows. So if you look over in this image, you can just start to see the foreground. Drop the blacks about there. Right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, going to try to get these purple tones into the image. So I'm going to come all the way down to split toning. And this will probably be the biggest help to achieving that. So if I go to shadows. And I might leave it at, at red. Bring it up. Quite a few of those purple tones. You just need to watch that you're not adding too much color into your blacks. As you can see, uh, these blacks, they look quite true black. But when you lift colors too high, you can see in the blacks there's just too much color. So be aware of that. And do the same in the highlights. And that's helped us introduce a lot of that color. So with the curves, we want to add in a nice fade into the image. So black point is going to be coming up. Right, so moving on to... Uh, we want to bring down the saturation of a lot of these colors. To really bring down the oranges. And as you can see, we're really struggling to get those purples out. And since since there's no purples in the image originally, you can't just turn up the saturation of the purples. As you can see, that does pretty much nothing. And we can't really add any more in, in the shadows or highlights. Because I think it starts to make the entire image look too uh, purple. So what I'm going to do 
is really bring up the saturation and vibrance. And it's going to help those purples pop. So now I'm pretty happy with more happy with my purples, but obviously we're too saturated in other colors now. So I'm going to drop. Reds, reds help with a little with the purples. Add a tiny bit of luminance to the oranges. Alright, so we want to change the actual colors of the colors. So these reds, they can go uh, towards the purple direction, and that will help as well. Uh, so our image is way too dark so what I want to do especially on the edges in the middle it's not too bad but on uh, on the edges it's way too dark so you might think profile corrections but when you compare images he hasn't done that if I come down here and click so here's the reference image here and the actual image didn't change. So he hasn't done that. So going to try to remove the vignette from the image with a filter. going to in, make sure it's inverted so it's affecting the outside of the circle and then I'm going to bring up the exposure uh, make sure it's inverted now it's affecting the outside. I'm going to bring up the whites rather than the shadows. And then it doesn't affect down here. And there's a bit of a creaminess or haze to the outside. So I'm thinking I'll drop 
clarity just a bit. And maybe the the haze sort of has a similar effect. Just want to brighten up the top now. So I'm grabbing another filter. I'm just going to maybe bring up the shadows. And we have too many purples up the top, so I'm going to add in some warmth. Uh, maybe some highlights. Bring up the blacks, maybe. And clarity will make those bits pop up there. One thing I want to do is really enhance where the sun is coming from. You want to give it a nice haze that it's affecting the entire image. So, or, and enhance that area. So, because that's where the light is coming from. So to bring it out, maybe lift the whites. Maybe drop the whites. Um, lift the shadows. Exposure a tad. And add a tiny bit of warmth in there. And just drop. I want to make it nice and creamy around this area of the image. Sort of helps with that uh, sunset. Or I'm gonna bring the clarity up. I'm actually just gonna drop the add a bit of haze in there. I think that will work a bit better. So you get that nice soft look, and then the clarity has added a bit of a pop at the same time. Cool. I think that looks, and you might want to feather it out. It'll probably create more of a natural look.
but as you can see that's sort of taking out a bit of the color there as well and I might just lower the blacks and then lift the shadows whites can come down they look a little too bright and then i want to keep the creaminess to the image so uh bringing down the clarity will really help with that Then I want to I'll bring the black point down a bit. I think it's a little bit too much fade. So you can see what happens if I bring it up. Bring it down more. I'm going to bring the white point down. Keeps them from overexposing the whites. And I think we could do with a bit more uh, saturation in the yellows, which are mostly in the brighter areas. Uh, sharpening can be completely removed otherwise you can add in a little bit and then if you hold alt and move the slider you can see the exact edges you can sharpen and that can be really handy because we generally want to sharpen the bigger lines keep our clouds looking nice and soft but then sharpening the outline of the tree because then it will pop off the background more so I might sharpen all those lines just a little bit and then I might slightly I think we are looking a little too purple I might just warm up the shadows to more of an orange just a tad and then I'm pretty happy with that before a bit more red in there but now I'm going to shift it just across a tiny bit and there's a bit more orange so yeah I'm pretty happy with that so far but yeah that's the main gist and yeah Thanks for watching guys. You can go give them a follow down in the description. Give myself a follow down there as well. Lots of content coming soon. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.